I'm in tears sharing it with the internet what is new and I'm feeling very rejuvenated. This is so serious. So I definitely look like shit right now. I'm gonna take a nap at some point today. It's like rainy out and I'm listening to Fearless. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna sleep very much today. It's really exciting opportunity. I need to do things that scare me every single day because I cannot sit and study in them. It's just, it's hard. Oh, it took us the whole five hours today. That's what you get for double labbing death. Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. Um, I am a pre-medicine student at Carleton College. I'm currently finishing my first year of school. Um, I work as a nursing assistant. Um, I love all things about like health and fitness and productivity and chasing after your goals and manifestation and all those good things. I'm vegan. I show a lot of like yummy vegan food in these um, week in my life and um, workout things and yeah if any of that sounds interesting to you make sure to give me a follow um, also like study tips and like what I'm doing how I'm doing it all that stuff but anyways I this is my first vlog that I posted spring term it is already the sixth week um, which is a little bit embarrassing but I need a sip of coffee but it's been <sighs> it's been a busy term let me tell you guys I'm double labbing and I also work as a nursing assistant so it's been a little bit like I think like it was like week three or four that was like a little, a little, um, frightening, but things have kind of calmed down a little. Um, the day that I'm filming this intro and the day that I'm uploading this, it's my birthday. So I mean, happy birthday to me. Um, I'm turning 19 today, which is crazy. Cause I know that 19 is not old, but like when I think about myself at like 13, think about someone who's 19, I was like, oh, like they kind of have their shit together. And then I like look at me now and I'm like, Okay, so that one wasn't true. But anyways, I'm blabbing on and on. Um, you guys should definitely give me a thumbs up on this video because the amount of time that it takes me to edit, like film, edit, upload these videos, I like don't even want to admit. Like it's all, the, I put a lot of little details and a lot of love into these videos because I wanna make them entertaining and I want to make them um, motivational and inspiring and all those things but I would love it if you guys gave me a thumbs up and subscribe like truly it means so much to me I one of my like absolute goals just in the next few years is just to grow my YouTube channel so that would mean the world to me um but yeah I hope you guys stick around enjoy this video it's a little bit chaotic a little bit crazy at times but I think it was um a pretty accurate depiction of I think this was week four of week four um, week four, for some reason, is always rough. It's right before midterms. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. vlog so Thursdays Wednesdays and Thursdays are very busy days of the week for me so I don't really have time to vlog I know this is crooked but I just got on my chem lab it went well but it took us the whole five hours today wait four hours today excuse me so now I'm kind of in a time crunch um, I have to go take some pictures um, for my student job and then I have to I'm gonna go to the gym and then I have my other job today so because um, I work as a nursing assistant and we have to get N95 masks because a resident on another unit. I don't even know if I can share that, but there's been COVID at my work, so I have to go get fitted for like a special really tight mask, which is kind of terrifying, but it's a stressful day. Okay, I'm gonna go take some pictures. I'll tell you more about it maybe tomorrow because I don't have like any time today, but yeah, just thought I'd check in. Hey guys, check in because I didn't earlier. Um, I went to the gym after I did my student work job. I don't know if I said that, but now I'm at work and it's a little bit stressful because um, there's a resident on another unit who has a positive COVID test. Um, 
who tested positive for COVID. And so we have to wear like really tight N95 masks. I don't know if you can see, but like my cheeks literally hurt and it's just, it's hard. But now I'm eating in, we don't have a break room. We're like sitting in like a old residence room. And um, I don't have anything else to say. happy Saturday. Um, I figured I'd vlog today because I know that I didn't vlog very much this week and I'm probably honestly not gonna vlog that much today. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just haven't like been in a super good headspace and like, yesterday I like, I feel really good today, but yeah. Anyways, I've been sitting here pretty much all morning. It's already 11.06. I'm about to go for like my morning run um, and then I'm gonna probably grab a protein shake and go to the library, but um, Basically, I just finished an application for a job that was kind of causing me a lot of anxiety, so I finished that. Um, not a job for like when I'm here at school because I already have two jobs here, but um, it's for the summer to work at, I don't want to give it away, but it's a, if I were to get this opportunity, I will be in New York City for the summer. And yes, it's still occurring even with COVID um, because all staff will be vaccinated. But It's really exciting opportunity, so I hope I really hope that happens. Um, and it's one opportunity that will kind of like propel other ones, if that makes sense. So yeah. Anyways, um, I'm currently just finishing my pre-workout. I'm gonna watch a biology lecture because I have a quiz on Monday, and I have actually a lot to do today, school-wise. Even though it's a Saturday, hate my life. Um, but so I just figured I'd do this while I'm like waiting for my pre-workout to kick in and getting ready to go for a run. So yeah, that's what's up right now. Okay guys, I thought I would show you a study form that I'm trying for biology because, oh, I don't know, I guess I'm learning that every single course, even if it's the same kind of like subject, but like a different course, like for example, like Chem 123 versus Chem 224, I found that I kind of have to like find specific study techniques for that course itself. like. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense, but like, for example, in Chem 123, I would always like pretty much rewrite the note, but I found that that doesn't work as well for Chem 224 because there's a lot more information, one, so it takes me more time, and two, like drawing out models doesn't really help me as much as like using a model kit to like look at molecules. Um, sorry, I'm going on a tangent, but I thought I'd just show you. So basically, I have already watched the lectures and I have notes on all of them, but I definitely don't have a super clear understanding of all this content, nor do I have it like memorized. So basically, I have the lecture here. There's my chem prof, hello, I mean my bio prof, hello Dan. Um, and then right here, I have um, 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 quizlets. So I'm doing week three right now, which was this week, and we have a quiz on like week three content on, um, on Monday so basically as I'm playing the lecture on 1.25 speed and while that's happening I'm like reviewing looking at my notes making sure like I have like the extra things he says written down because like obviously not everything that he says or explains is gonna be like on the PowerPoint slides so, like I try and make extra notes so I make sure that I have everything I want written down and like also simultaneously I make uh, Quizlet flashcards while um, while that's going on because Quizlet I think will help me a lot in this course because I think like some obviously it's not all med uh, memorization a lot of it is like more, more like understanding the broad concepts but in me memorizing things such as like okay like what is the ultimate product of um, the Calvin cycle or like what what where where is energy transferred those kind of things I think that by like memorizing them in Quizlet uh, by using Quizlet it'll like super super help me with like general understanding of the course so yeah not to go off on a tangent but I need to watch this lecture right now because I I want to go on my run like before it's already like the middle of the day and it already is almost the middle of the day so <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, people on Bikini Bottom. I knew that was weird before I even finished saying it. But like, you know that sound where it's like, hello, people of Bikini Bottom. I need to get off TikTok. I really, I, I have to, you know what I have to do guys? This is so serious. I have to go through my drafts and like post them all so I don't have any so that I can delete the TikTok app because I think that's gonna be one of my goals this evening because I keep going. Going on it every time I take a pee break when I'm studying and then I get stuck on it for like 10 extra minutes and it's just like my study breaks don't need to be consumed with TikTok. Anyways, that's just me thinking out loud. But I'm gonna go for a quick run and then I'm gonna do a little ab workout and I think I'm gonna go to the gym this evening. But then I'm gonna get ready and go to the library. Actually, I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'm gonna get ready and go to the library for pretty much the whole day because I have shit to do. I have shit to do. I have a lot of it to do too. I don't even, guys. I like let myself rest a little yesterday evening. I like stopped doing work at like 8 p.m. and like went and hung out with people. I'm like, ah, oh, my mental health is so much better after taking a break. So remember that if you're feeling burnt out, if you're feeling like let yourself rest because you will show up as a better version of yourself if you give yourself rest. Anyways, that's all for now. I'm going on a run. Also guys, follow me on TikTok because I'm telling you my content is elite. Am I biased? Absolutely. It's actually, it's actually really not very good, but like, I've been making daily vlogs. And like, they're kind of cute sometimes. I like to think. Okay, follow me on TikTok. Anyways, bye. Also, I'm sorry I look so ugly. It's a no makeup kind of morning, obviously, because I still haven't worked out, so. Okay, bye. You guys already know it's nice coffee time. I had to change my outfit because Sorry, this is TMI, but those pants gave me camel toe, and uh, it's so frustrating because they're such cute pants. I got them at Goodwill, but they just, I can only wear them for like photos because I cannot sit and study in those. But yeah, anyways, making a nice big oyster coffee today. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Also, with this shirt, I'm already wearing my sports bra to work out in underneath, so it like makes it easy. Cause we're really all about convenience these days. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, wait, gotta get a clip for the talk. Thank God this this memory card is 120 gigabytes because I need it, because I never shut up. Okay. Ooh. just add the nut pods I would love to but when I have iced coffee like I like it to be sweet I don't like it to be like I don't know black coffee I like <laughs> oh my god words I need to eat hot coffee I like black and iced coffee I like sweet and I don't know how else to explain that to people but that's the truth Where is my, oh, my cool every time I <laughs> vlog and I watch it back especially when I'm getting things out of the fridge, I realize that when I bend down, I just straight up, like, I don't bend my knees. I just straight up, like, fold at the hips. And I know it looks weird, and I know that that's strange, but this is me. So that's just how, I don't, I really, I never really think about the fact that I do that until I watch these videos. I'm like, sis, you look a little, you're looking a little odd, but, you know, get it, I guess. I think she's almost out, but... We're having no crying. No, she's definitely not out. These containers are so terrible for the environment. I do not recommend. I need to stop getting them, but it's just so fun. Okay. Probably have to suck that out later, but for now that's good. Oh my god. You know when like you get like hungry or like tired and like everything gets so frustrating. Like I'm like this isn't working. This isn't working. But it's fine. We're good. Oh my god, I haven't eaten my celery. I bought celery last week. I haven't even freaking eaten it. Okay. I'm gonna eat lunch and edit a YouTube video. <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys really quick what I got for lunch today. Um, just a rip. Do I keep doing that? Question of the day. <laughs> I'm so weird. 
does asparagus make your pee smell? Because that's actually a genetic trait. Like there are alleles for pee smelling asparagus and non pee smelling asparagus. Mmm. Oh, okay. So I got asparagus, black beans, tofu, squash, broccoli that's raw. So I probably won't eat it because, like, it's just not good to heat it up. But yeah, that's the vibe. I'm gonna edit a YouTube video. I should put on my glasses too. Mm -mm. Oh my god, so cute. Vibes, aesthetic. Ooh. Okay, anyways. Let's get to it. Wait, I don't think these in right now. I'm a dumb bitch. Okay. Okay, guys. Hi. So, God, I was just editing the video I made when I was in isolation, and it's like really hard to edit. One, because some of the things I do are just very cringy. But then on the other hand, I was like, being in isolation literally like made me depressed. Like I was like not okay, and I like took clips of me like crying. <laughs> And I'm having a hard time deciding like how much to put in because like I don't want my video to make other people sad like it literally made me shed a tear like current day me watching me old me like literally be depressed and lonely in isolation um but I also kind of want to show it because I want to like share with people that like like it's okay to like be sad it's okay to have like mental health problems because everyone does and I think that's something that like still is not talked about enough but at the same time I'm like this video is low-key depressing so I think I'll put an intro that's like guys warning like if you're <laughs> feeling sad do not watch this video because it will just make you sadder but I don't know also what mask should I wear comment down below I'm probably gonna pick this one because I always wear I always wear this one yeah I mean it's a clear choice we gotta do the yellow flowers also it's really pretty and there's these trees on campus that I think I might set up my tripod and try to take a picture at but it's kind of embarrassing because a lot of people walk past there but my roomie's not here to do a photo shoot with me right now <laughs> sad so we'll figure that out but for now we're going to the library because i literally have so much shit to do it's giving me crippling anxiety so let's go Woo! okay <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday. I'm in tears sharing it with the internet, what is new? But these are happy tears because I have been feeling so overwhelmed and it's crazy how like, uh, just like prayer and manifestation and like talking to yourself nicely can make such a big difference. I shouldn't be talking right now because I really need to study because um, I do still have a lot going on today, but basically I've been so stressed all weekend about this paper that I have to write because I knew that the quality of work that I was gonna turn in was not gonna be my best because I, I've just been really like overwhelmed and so I emailed my prof and he was like okay like you get a three-day extension so I have a three-day extension to write the paper and I'm just like dang like just like reaching out and like explaining my like situation um he was like so willing to like help me out and it's just like dang I just like needed that reminder that like we live on a floating rock like <laughs> I don't know like I just feel good but anyways happy Monday welcome to this week in my life um right now I'm getting ready I'm leaving a discussion in class today which I'm a little nervous for um this is my third class of the day <sighs> um I have two quizzes today which I'm actually terrified for but it's fine I haven't really studied for the chemistry one so I'm gonna be doing that pretty much all afternoon I'm probably gonna end up taking the quiz at like 7 p.m um which is a little bit rough but Regardless, we're gonna be fine, and um, I'm trying to think what else to say. It's gonna be a good week. I have a lot going on in these next few days. Like, I think tonight I'm probably gonna be, I started doing work at like 5 a.m. this morning. I'm probably not gonna be done until midnight, but that's how it goes when you're taking two labs and a 300 level political science class and you work a job on the side in healthcare. That's just what happens, so I'm doing the best I can. Um, but I'm really excited to take you guys on this week. I haven't actually filmed a college week in my life in a long time because I've just been like kind of falling apart at the seams, but like we're doing okay today. So I'm gonna do.
do some biology Quizlet flashcards um, while I, and then in the last five minutes, I'm gonna like review the questions that I'm asking for our class discussion. So yeah, exciting. There's only six people in this class, but it honestly makes me more nervous because there's like much more room for like awkward silences and like weird, like, cause there's so few people, but you know, I, I believe, I believe that in me being the dumbest person in most of my classes that it'll make me smarter. So you gotta surround yourself with the smart people, you know, that's all I gotta say, so. Hello, I was just filming a vlog clip. <laughs> that was my roommate. I was telling him about the bug. And I also just went and got my COVID test earlier, so that's why it's already 4 p.m. Rip me. <laughs> It's like, oh, a cute little aesthetic stunning clip. No, in this clip, if you pay attention, I dig through my backpack because I lost my charger and I had like left, it, it was a whole deal. I had like left it there, the library, and then I found it. I don't, and then <laughs> my computer wouldn't charge. So I kept like plugging it in and back in and trying all the outlets. And I just think it's so funny because like if it's sped up so much in this clip but if you look at my face i'm getting more and more distressed because i have these quizzes to take and i couldn't get my computer was at like five percent it was a whole ordeal anyways let's continue with the video <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. So this vlog ended up being so long, like almost an hour, and um, my YouTube watch retention time is not that long. So I decided to split it into two videos. The next one is probably gonna be coming very shortly. It's all edited and ready to go. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Okay, comment like where you're at in life right now. Like, are you a high school student? Are you a middle school student? Are you a college student? Are you a pre-med student? Are you a med school student? Are you like an adult? Are you my mom? Are you my grandma? Comment down below and let me know just where you're at. Cause I love knowing like where are my followers, like what they're doing with their lives and like why, like what brought you to my channel and things like that. So yeah, comment down below. I love talking to you guys in the comments. Also follow me on TikTok. I, maybe some of you guys are from TikTok because my TikTok is growing a lot more than my YouTube channel right now, but um, Either way, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And stay tuned for the next one. Bye. Mwah. Okay, you guys, so really quickly, I wanted to shout out an organization in this video. If you're not familiar, um, every video I try to talk about a cause or organization just to bring more awareness to it. So um, right now, if you're not aware, um, India is facing a pretty devastating um, second wave of COVID-19 outbreaks that are spreading across the country. There is a new strain of the coronavirus that is um, apparently um, more susceptible to spreading. And um, so... I, I would recommend if you don't know what's going on in India to um, take the time to look look it up and read into it because um, it's pretty 
uh, heartbreaking, but I wanted to talk about an organization called Help Now. Um, it's an ambulance network that's actually set up by a group of students. Um, it's 24-7, and it's helping transport COVID patients, uh, medical workers, medical supplies, um, and they're accepting donations right now. So I'm going to leave them linked down below. Um, super cool. I recommend you look into them more because it's pretty incredible, um, the organization that these students have come up with. And yeah, so I hope you guys have an amazing day and thank you so much again for watching this video. Thank you.